No, you're not facing in the right direction. No, you hit your arm. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're good. Hey, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm going to be making a, how do I explain this? A sticker. I'm going to be making some really cute stickers that you can stick on your iPad, basically anything. So, why don't we begin? But before, actually, before we begin, I want to make a statement here. I'm not going to be drawing. Okay, well, I am going to be drawing, but I'm also not going to be drawing. this look like to you all right so did you guess it yeah i'm gonna be drawing digitally um because my artwork looks better on that so let's just get to it so here i'm just gonna make some little sprinkles as a really cute right sticker now, i'm basically kind of waiting for i'm just waiting here for like okay so so I'm waiting for the pages to print, and yeah, so after I have the final print, what we're going to do is we're going to just cut them out, and you know what, why don't we just get our supplies ready. So one thing that we're going to need is this, we're going to want this, it's, oh, I just cut, oh gosh, I need to get some scissors, wait, do I have any in there? No, I don't. kind of like tape so we have this like tape sticky stuff but there's a back to it which makes it a better sticker because when our sticker has a back of it you can like you know be using it <laughs> for example like here if i just cut this small thing and then just draw a little bad heart on it real quick so i can kind of show you in a little bit and this is just for reference so if we had this we would take our little sticky thing sticky sticky thing we would stick this to the back of it like that and then we would stick this right onto the back here and then we would just cut it out to make it look better however we want it to be I kind of wanted it into this goofy, weird shape. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. oh, I know what I did wrong. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, let me try this again. If you cut onto the paper, then there's going to be no sticky thing left here. So, what, what I did was wrong. I cut it too much. But, if it's like this, what I could do is I don't want to cut onto the paper completely. I want to leave a little bit of space so that it doesn't just come right off. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of space. Obviously, I'm going to try to make it look better on the final thing, but this is kind of an idea. And then I can just easily peel it off and stick it to something. But obviously, this is, I'm not keeping this. So yeah, that's basically what that is. So, oh, I think the paper's ready. Yeah, I got the paper. So, calm down. Get calm. Don't fall. Yeah, it's falling. I'm gonna use this thing here to kind of hold you guys up, I guess. It's still gonna fall. What about you? You look sturdy enough. Okay, I think we're good. So, I have five different papers here with the exact same thing. So, I wanna make more than one. So, I'm just going to. So, first of all, when I begin, I don't even want to cut the sheet out yet. I just want to make it smaller, the area smaller, so that I can, so it's easier for me to work with. So now that it's smaller, I can start going in and cutting out the details. But before I even begin doing that, I'm going to make it even smaller. I begin cutting off most of it, and then I cut off literally everything else except it, basically. And then that's when I concentrate to 
carefully cut all this off. I want to make this look good. I think these sprinkles are really, really cute. I think I have used them at the beginning of some videos. I'm not exactly sure. But I have, so that's why I got this idea. I decided, you know, why don't I make a little circle sprinkle kind of thing of it? Same, well, similar colors, I guess. Alright, so I've got, so obviously a few of them still have a little bit of white on the side. So I can, I'm just going to simply cut, snip those little pieces off. Some of them need that a little bit more than others. Because I'm not perfect and I didn't cut them perfectly. And that's fine. I just need to touch them up every now and then. I feel like this is the one video that you can actually learn something from me. I was actually going to make a Valentine's Day, like, cake baking video. But, um... Okay, so that didn't go well, so I decided just not to post it, because what happened was I literally failed. I was going to try to decorate the cake, but um, when I tried decorating it, I don't know what ha Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I put the, um, the frosting in the microwave. I put it in, and it was fine, but I just decided I wanted to put it in a tiny bit more. Then I figured out that that wasn't a good idea, and then I ruined the whole cake. Anyway, we have our five little things here. We're going to start one by one. I'm going to move all this paper out of our way. Don't worry, I will recycle this paper. Now, I'm just going to cut this nice little strip of whatever this is called. And just open it right on up. And it's hard to get this thing off. Sometimes you have to rip off a little. You have to rip it a little bit so you can open it. Right. This is one. I'm gonna cut a nice thing here. So with the first one, I'm just gonna take one of these. I don't really care which one. And I'm just gonna stick it on like this. See? Then, I'm just going to at least try to carefully place this back onto the back. It's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then, after that, I'm going to basically just begin kind of turning it into a circle-ish shape. You could leave it the way it is, but I want this to look a little bit better, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut it in a circular shape, something like that, to make it look more professional. I don't think that's going to help, but whatever. I like it. I think it looks better, and that's really all that matters. <laughs> Obviously, it still doesn't look that good, but that's okay because um, I'm basically kind of just doing the first little cut like I was showing you before. Basically what I'm doing here, but just with the sticker thingy. Because I want this to look really nice, and I don't want to begin with the ex final thing. I want to give myself a little bit more room so I can do some little touch-ups. Because so if I cut too far, then I can't really touch it up. This piece right here is just too much. Snip there. Little snip there. And here's a little bit more. And I have a pretty good thing. Wait, no, no, I'm not done. I'm going to go a little bit more like that. And then a little bit more like this. Oh, gosh. I no, I think I messed up. Okay, I think I fixed it. I've got this. And right here. Then I can, so what my idea is, to make it easier to open, I'm just going to carefully... Scrape right here, just ever so carefully, because I don't want to break the paper. But then, when I do that, I can easily just fold it in, and then I can pull off the little thing. But I'm not going to do that yet, because I'm not going to use a sticker right now, exactly. So now I'm going to do that same thing with some other ones. 
I think I can do two more with this little strip here. So I'm gonna just quickly cut here. I'm gonna try to do this quicker because I have a feeling you guys are gonna get very bored at this point. So I'm just gonna speed the process. Well, we're in voiceover mode now, woo! Okay, so um, here I'm basically just getting these pieces here, just the wrap thingy. I don't know really what to call it, but I'm just sticking it on and I'm flying through them, but I sped it up, so yeah, it wasn't this fast. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the um, finished product of this. And um, yeah. And, but also, you guys might be wondering why there are only three when I made five. Well, two of them I cut just way too close that the sticky stuff, like, barely had any room to stick onto the back. So it all just got off and I put it on the back of my iPad instead. But... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give a big thumbs up, and click the notification bell down below so you get notified when new videos come. Bye!